hello guys welcome to the sixth part of this project uh, we are moving into the transformation process now you know this is an extraction a transformation and loading of files into our data warehouse and uh, we have successfully extracted the data creating the flat file uh, connection manager as well as the flat file source and changing the data types and all that so here we want to see how we can transform this data and what we are doing in this project, uh, this particular part of the video, basically is to look up two transformation keys from two different tables based on a particular matching ID. If you look at this two bullet here, there's an highlight on what we are going to do here. And the first bullet here is say one transformation that does a lookup of values from the currency key column. So this currency key column now is on the dim currency dimension table and how is it going to do that it's going to base on the currency id so the currency ID is going to what we're going to use to to match the values from the flat files then another one that we're going to do we are doing two transmission here this and actually this then for the second one it's going to be uh, a transmission from the date key column on the date uh, date dimension table and in this case it's going to be based on the currency date so uh, we are building two lookups here, uh, the one for the currency key and the one for the date key. So let's follow these steps here. Everything here is detailed. I'm going to drop all these videos in the description. You can go ahead and follow it in your uh, leisure time. So let's start building the first one here. The first one here is here in the SSI toolbox, we say expand this. Then we should drag the lookup container onto the surface of the data flow tab then we should extract then okay we should place it below the extract currency data source that is for the flat file source which we renamed then we should select this flat file source and drag it because we should connect the flat the extract sample currency data the flat file source we should connect it to the lookup then after that they say on the data flow design surface we should select this and change the name to this then we should double click and open the transformation editor so let's run this one to four steps real quick so uh we're going to come back to our ssi toolbox here then this common here we expand it then we'll drag our lookup and drop it right under this place here then what we're going to do is we're going to join this as well that's what we're asked to do then we are also asked to rename it to this as uh step three then we just come here right click and uh rename it okay that's a dot there sorry about that it doesn't take any other thing apart from pure characters so we should double click on it and open it so let's go and through these processes here again these steps then after that say on the general page make sure the following uh, the following selections are made each of these steps here now have sub steps a and b a and b which is select full catch and in the connection type area select old dp connection manager and let's just read this first to the number six a then in the old dp connection manager dialog box ensure that this particular database here is displayed then we should select use a result of an sql query and select or paste the following SQL statement. So let's just copy this statement here. This is the transformation we're making. Let's come back here. We are asked that this we make sure the full catch is selected. Right? Yes, then this is selected and also this is selected. Then in the connection manager, which make sure that this is displayed. Then here we we'll say use the sort of an SQL query. Then or build query. Let's just paste this. That's what I said. Just to let use result of an SQL query, and then enter or paste the following SQL statement. Okay, select preview to view the result of the SQL query. So uh, let's preview it to see. So this is the result of the SQL query here with the currency name, the currency alternate key, and the currency key 
So let's close that. So what was the step number seven say? He said on the column page, make the following selections. A and B. A say in the available input columns panel, drag the currency ID to the available lookup. So this currency ID uh, is on another table. There are two pop-up tables that will come out to the available lookup columns panel and and drop it on the currency alternate key. In the available lookup columns list, select the checkbox of the left to the left of the currency key. So uh, let's come back here to our columns. And here you can see we have two pop-up tables. We have the available uh can i expand this okay we have the available input columns and the available lookup columns so we are asked to drag the currency id right let's check it again in the first part we are asked to drag the currency id to the available lookup columns panel and drop it on the currency alternate key so we are asked to come here and drag this and drop it on the alternate on the currency alternate key then we should ask then the, the B part, so we should check this, the left part, I seen it, the B part on the available lookup columns list, select the checkbox to the left of the currency key. So let's come back here again and let's select this, this checkbox here, I think that's that, that's number, the B part, then the number eight. so we should select OK to turn to the data flow design surface, we should right click on that, check properties and ensure that this is United States and the default code property of 1252. So that being done, let's uh let me run you guys through again. So what do we do here? We open this to ensure that the full catch and this was also selected. And uh, on the connection manager, we ensure that this uh, database that we are actually looking up uh data in the tables from is actually selected and we pasted this query here. Which is in the in the use result as an SQL query. As if we're using the table, we'll select this and use the table, but we are using the query. So we preview the query to see how it appears. Then we came to the column part, we drag this um currency ID here to the alternate uh currency key and we'll also check this. These are the value that's going to be that is going to use and look up the value in the uh table in the uh the, the the table in the dimmed in the dim currency dimension table in, the, in, in this particular dimension table here that i i mentioned in the dim currency uh, the dim currency dimension table these are the, these are the values that is actually going, going to look up this currency key here and the currency ID that will actually match to the alternate key and this currency key here that will actually checked on the left side so let's see how we can actually do that do that here so let's come back here and click ok this look up here is successfully built and you can see that red uh, sign there is gone so what's, what's the second step again second step you go to the b part the b part here which is the second uh look up that we're building here we are asked to in the exercise toolbox again we should drag another one and place it below the lookup currency key which we just finished building if you select local currency key transmission and drag it that should also connect it again then in the input output selection dialog was select lookup match output in the output list and then select ok so uh this is what we're going to do now um let's see select the lookup currency key okay let's let me see if it's if we're going to do that for uh, renaming it let's place this below here once we join this an input box will come up which is this and they say in the output box you select lookup match output that's what they said it says select and drag it below arrow onto the new lookup transmission to connect it to two component then we saw this box that came up then they say in the input output selection dialog we select lookup match output then on the data flow design surface, select the name lookup in the newly added lookup transmission and change the name. So we are actually changing the name in step four. So let's come back here and click OK. Let's hit OK. So you can see lookup match output. So let's come here now and rename this. Um, lookup date key. So that is um, 
step four then step five double click the look up this key transmission the then other piece select partial catch that's number six then uh, let's actually do that number six first before we go to number seven because number seven kind of have a and b so here instead of full catch you're setting partial catch are you seeing it so and uh number seven a in the old permission manager dialog ensure that this is selected i think that is already selected for us already yes then b in the use table or view box enter the enter or select this so let's see let me just copy this here in the views in the use table or view box so let's come back here uh okay that should be in the connection manager okay we're asked to ensure that this is selected then in the use table we'll view this we can actually load the table which is actually deemed it we can actually load the table or enter it so but, but since the table has already popped off ours let's just go ahead and select it uh i think it's this this dim this dim it right this dbo here is the schema name then this dim date is a table name so let's look at it that is D dbo then dim date right so that is being done then number eight is here on the column page make the following selection we also have a and b here too in the a part say in the available input columns panel drag currency dates to the available so just like the way we we matched it the other time the lookup transmission we have to do it here again the same way in the available input column now we're, now we're dragging the currency date now to the available lookup columns panel and dropping it on the full date alternate key if you see a message indicating a type mismatch change the type of the currency date to this to database date so let's do that real quick then on the uh, then in the additional uh available lookup columns list select the checkbox to the left of the date key so let's come back here now let's go to the column then the currency date we are selecting it to the full date alternate key right let's be sure yes we're selecting the currency date to the uh, full date alternate key so let's come here now just right click on it hold your mouse drag it and drop on it i see it then it says on the left then in the available lookup columns let's select the checkbox to the left of the date key so here now this one was selecting now the date key now we can check this now that's all so if you go back and look at, look at those two bullet up there you will see that these are actually the criteria that you're using to look up the particular two transformation so that being done let's come back here uh they say in the available lookup columns list select this okay that has been done then number nine now on the, on the advanced page review the caching option select okay to return to the data flow design then let's also do what we're supposed to do in the last part here we didn't do that so let's just do both of them at the same time so the advanced page uh the caching option 32 mb i think that's okay so let, let me run you guys through again uh immediately we connected the lookup currency key to the lookup date key uh a pop-up box came up and we select the lookup and we selected uh this uh, particular lookup match output here so when we so, when, so immediately we did that we now right click we open it and here we're enabling only a partial catch we came to the connection manager we're also selecting from this table and uh we selected the table that we are actually looking up the currency key from from those bullet i read earlier then for the columns we actually match this to this here i seen it and we also selected the left of the date key these are the criteria it's going to use to enable the transformation so let's hit ok and there you can see it has been configured so that particular red button has particular has gone gone away so let's right click and check the property from the first one uh let me see you can see this is listed as um united states so i think that is all right and uh, the default code is also one two five so let's come back here to this one again let's check this one again and let's see this is also selected the, the code is also one two five and uh also united states <coughs> so 
I think that is all. That is all for the for particular this, this section of the video. In the next video, we will see how we can add and configure the old DB connection uh, manager. That's going to actually load the data now. So this is this is just only what we're doing here in the transmission stage of this video. We are only we are only going to actually look up values from the currency key column of this uh, dim currency dimension table here based on this uh margin id and on the on the next table we're going to look at it from this dim dit dimension table based on currency columns from this year so that has been done that will be all for this video thank you for watching if you're tired take a break take a, take a cup of coffee take a walk and uh, come back and i'll be right here waiting for you see you in the next video thank you for watching stay blessed